it feels really really smooth and then on the back you've got the the moleskin mark on it let's open it up and have a little look oh look so it says in case of loss please return to and then as a reward we won't be doing that because I don't think it will be leaving the house for a little while I decided to move a little bit more over into the sunshine you can see the lovely grain of the paper this is something I really love about watercolour paper just how thick and lovely the paper is what I also really love about this is that it sits quite nicely down and I imagine over time um, as it gets more heavier on this side that, that it'll sit flat because sometimes with certain books they can like you know bounce back and then you're like I don't know having this fight with the book which nobody wants to be having whilst they're trying to paint but yeah I'm really happy with it I think it will work a treat and I'm excited to start painting in it I am actually going to be using oil paints in mine um, simply because I don't do a lot of watercolour paintings but perhaps in the future I might do some watercolour art but I just wanted this as a place that I could make some art when I don't want to use a canvas I think it's great it's a good size it's not too big it's not too small it's just you know the sort of thing that you could be able to put in your in your rucksack backpack whatever you wish to call it and I think that's how they marketed it I think online when I saw it on on Amazon I think it said it was the sort of thing that you would easily be able to put in your handbag which was great um, but yeah if anyone's curious it's a cold pressed cotton but yeah I'm really excited to fill this out and once I do manage to fill it out I'll do a video all about um, a sketchbook tour which will be really cool and yeah take care and I'll see you in the next one